Hello and welcome. This is Katherine Smith. I am a PDM Applications Engineer here at Trimec. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day today to watch this quick tip video that is going to show you the different PDM log files that you have access to through the PDM Professional or PDM Standard Administration tool on your client's computers. We're going to start off by opening up the PDM Administration tool. That can be found inside of the Start menu. Scrolling down to the SolidWorks PDM folder location and choosing Administration. Inside of the Administration tool, there are going to be two different log files that you can access. The first is going to be the local log file. Underneath the local settings, there is something that is identified as log file. You can either double click on the log file to open it or you can right click open. Once you open it, it's going to show you some different information about who's logged in, who has successfully checked out licenses. Uh, there is a feature here that you can search the text for specific words or codes. We can also refresh by clicking on this refresh button um, or clear or empty the log. There are two different views. We can show the summary, which breaks it out into uh, quick little line items here. And if we need additional information, such as this error message, we can double click to have it open up in its own separate window. We can also click on this little button to show the full log which will break it out into a um, much more detailed log, but it really depends on which you prefer to look at, the summary or the full log. If you wanted to share this log file with someone else, like a tech support representative, you would simply need to click on this copy log file button or right click and choose copy and then paste on your desktop or somewhere else easily accessible. It should be called SOLIDWORKS PDM and it will be a .cog file type. The second log file that you can access through the PDM administration tool is the archive server log. If you go to the top of your left hand pane over here, you should see a archive server name. Yours is going to be different than mine. If you right click, you can see show archive server log. Clicking that, it'll open a log that looks very similar to the local log file. It has some information about the archive server and what's going on there as well. We can refresh, we can search the text, we can also show this in a full log versus summary view. Again, if you wanted to copy this and provide it as a archive server log to another user, this log has a copy log file button as well. I'm going to copy, right click, and paste onto my desktop. The name of this log file is going to be the, be the name of the archive server, and again, the file type is going to be .cog. So this is a quick tip video to show you the two different log files that are available through the PDM Professional or PDM Standard Administration Tool. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.